Welcome citizens, Chedarius here with another voice attack video. This one's on the speed limiter <clears throat> and how I use joystick gremlin to control my speed with voice attack. So I'm going to turn down the music a little bit here and we're going to get started. <clears throat> First I'm just going to demonstrate um, the the basic command um, which is just impulse and a percentage although I will caveat that with um, the way I have it set up um, it, it's uh, a uh, it goes in increments of 5% I, I didn't really see the point of doing you know 1% increases uh, and stuff so here we go. Um, Ava, impulse zero. Zero percent impulse. Ava, impulse 35. 35 percent impulse. Ava, half impulse. Half impulse. Ava, full impulse. Full impulse. <laughs> Ava, standard impulse. 15% impulse. Okay, so I'm just using the impulse commands here. Um, mostly not to step on the fingers of HCS voice pack uh, controls. So um, I can I can say Ava reset speed limiter. Reinitializing. Okay, and that that's a HCS voice pack one. HCS standard impulse. Oh. Ava, standard impulse. 15% impulse. You can see they're slightly different. 15% seems to be very close to what most ships have set for their um, standard SCM speed. Some of them are slightly less, some of them are slightly more. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, the reason why I have done it this way is because using the mouse, <clears throat> which I am doing right here, in a voice attack macro, um, gets you very inaccurate numbers. It is not the same every time. And, uh, it, and it varies widely by ship, even, uh, on how many clicks you need to tell voice attack to to move um, it's the same problems that I had with <clears throat> all my nav macros um, and needed to you know find workarounds for that the unfortunate part is that there's not the uh, mouse workaround for better accuracy with a mouse wheel like there is with mouse X and Y uh, movements and, and coordinates and stuff so I had to change my thinking so what I've done is created <clears throat> some keyboard shortcuts in joystick gremlin if you don't use joystick gremlin you won't be able to do this I highly suggest you try it out um, it it, uh, it makes everything easier with joysticks in Star Citizen. I do almost all my joystick controls in Joystick Gremlin and not in Star Citizen in terms of <coughs> curves and sensitivities and all that kind of stuff. And you can see across the top of Joystick Gremlin... Oh, by the way, if you want to look at my Joystick Gremlin setups and, and I have... Uh, diagrams and all that kind of stuff 
in uh, GitHub repositories. They're in the just uh, their links in the description. <clears throat> I even have a document that shows you how to set it up, start to finish, uh, for a bunch of different configurations. The configuration that I fly with now is what I call a TASAS. You can see it up there, which is a HOTUS along with another stick. So uh, my left stick is an Extreme 3D Pro. Yeah, it's not going to last me long, but they work great. I like them better than the Thrustmasters. They've got more buttons. Uh, and even though it's not technically a righty or a lefty, uh, it's a right-handed stick. They work fine on on either side, and you can get two of them on sale for forty bucks. So it's hard to beat that deal. Uh, <clears throat> on the right stick, I've got my uh, X56 Rhino. Again, not great. I've been lucky though. These are um, what six years old. This is before six or seven years old. This is before Logitech bought them. Mine work great. It, I would not suggest buying them uh, going forward. Save your money, get a VKB. That's what I would like to do someday. Uh, and then I've got my throttle. For um, my speed limiter control, uh, there's a, a, a rotary dial um, that is right near my thumb. Uh, that is the Z axis on, on uh, the Satec Pro. And I have that mapped to the virtual joystick device 2 and the z-axis <clears throat> so i try not to get too wacky i'm pretty much mapping most of these things um you know button for button access for access um so you can create a uh, keyboard uh controls for your joystick axes which is super handy um, so here I've got uh, zero uh, throttle to zero, um, and it's actually control zero. I didn't want to interfere with any other controls. So uh, on the uh, in Star Citizen, so it is using the right hand control and zero. Set the throttle to zero, <coughs> and um, I just clicked on Add a New Action. And selected uh, the VJoy as the action, action, uh, VJoy device two, and the Z axis, right? Because that's what's controlling my speed limiter. And um, I selected absolute, so this is the absolute setting on the uh, on the axis, and minus one. That's what Joystick Kremlin uses as minus one to plus one. So zero is at fifty percent. Um, and then uh, to get the control part of things, I added a condition, a keyboard condition, where I said right control has to be pressed. So control zero, set the Z axis to minus one, which is zero. Uh, I set up basically the same thing <clears throat> with control minus. Except for this time, I'm setting it relatively, and um, setting it minus 0.1, which is 5%. So uh, it will go down 5% anytime I hit Control minus. Uh, the plus key or equal sign uh, is the opposite. <clears throat> Same thing as the other ones, except for relative plus 0.1. So, if I hit control zero right now, I get zero. <clears throat> if I want to get back up to SCM speed at 15%, one, two, three, I'm at 15%. It's that, that straightforward. Um, now, when it comes to voice attack, uh, you can see here that I have my uh, symbol Astra <coughs> profile name here. And I will spend most of the time showing you how to do the, the basic one, which is just setting the impulse to a percentage. All the rest of them are basically based on, on that. Um, The simplest command to me is just to say impulse and a percent, like impulse 50. 
and it will set it to 50%. But sometimes that doesn't flow off your tongue right. You can change this to whatever you want. You can also say something like set impulse speed to 50 or set impulse power to 50 and um, it'll do the same thing. But I don't, I don't like them to make them too long <clears throat> and I like to make them memorable. So impulse 50. The first line here reads segment four um, into, uh, reads it back to you. So segment four is um, segments in voice command are each of these uh, words, basically, <clears throat> or brackets, right? So, and it starts, it always, a segment starts at zero. So zero, one, two, three, Four. So segment four is the number that I am saying between zero and 100. Um, so I want an audio response that tells me that it's doing what I said. And then um, I am setting a text variable to Z speed for Z access, right? And speed limiter uh, to command. <clears throat> the command is what you've spoken. Uh, and when you do it just this way, it'll just put the um, an, a number that you speak into that uh, variable. Uh, then I am setting an integer, right? The first one was a text variable. This one is setting a, an integer variable called Z speed. So you can have variables name the same thing as long as they're typed differently. So text, integer, a number. Um, and I am converting the text version of Z speed number into an integer here. Then, uh, because, and this is because I have to do math. Because remember, I'm setting this in uh, segments of 5%, <clears throat> increments of 5%. So I can't just take the number 50 uh, and, um, and have it set to uh, you know, 50% without doing a little math first. So <clears throat> now I'm setting the integer Z speed to the previous integer Z speed divided by five. So if I say 50, it's going to divide by five, which means that it will do it 10 times. So anytime that I set the throttle, then I'm also saying set it to zero first so that we always get the same result <clears throat> because I don't know where you have set the throttle to when uh, this command is uh, stated uh, and then it's just a simple uh, for loop um, that takes whatever number you said divided by five and does that um, however many times that is so if it's 15 it does it 10 times and that is the basics I've added other ones in here too <clears throat> the combat one is basically just the same thing. I'm just not doing the math this time. Um, this way I can just say combat impulse um, or combat speed and it will set it to 35% impulse. Um, I'll stop. Uh, does just a control zero. Uh, full impulse is going to do a control zero and then 20 times. <clears throat> and then I have a half, <clears throat> which is just doing it 10 times. And a um, standard impulse, which uh, basically just does it for 15% which is standard SCM. So those are my basic navigation macros. Uh, I learned a lot uh, working on them, uh, on how to handle integers in uh, voice attack and, and uh, doing more commands that are variable like that. So uh, I hope everyone else learned something too. That's it for now. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.